Okay, so I've been flirting with this guy on Grinder, slid into his DMs, going great. We've got a great chat. We see eye to eye on the lefty stuff. He's quite assertive too, which turns me on. Yes, go subs of the world unite. Oh yes, and he's got a very pretty face. However, when we meet for a first date, IRL, I just don't find his physical presence very attractive. Like there are moments I do, but sometimes I feel like I'm forcing it and feel super uncomfortable with that idea. Uh, like as if I owe him sex because I flirted with him and I'm trying to make myself be into him. I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking things, but maybe I just need to see if the attraction grows with time. But what advice do you guys have as regards to knowing when psyching yourself up for it is starting to border on self-manipulation, if that makes sense? Cheers anyway, babes. You're both the bomb. Thank you. Thank you. I love that phrase or that that, that that concept. Like, to what extent is psyching yourself up turning into self manipulation? It's so. It's true. such an interesting question that I've asked myself, but not in such well put words a lot. Yeah, but it's again going back to our conversation about marriage. Don't you think that happens so often within those relationships, oh. right? Where you just like you feel like a sign of 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 saying that your relationship is still okay is to have that like on vacation sex or whatever you know though really both of the time both of you are probably thinking of like either porn or some like someone you hooked up with in your early 20s or whatever <laughs> yeah. and is that that's that's like borderlines on many men on the law of complicated stuff. but that's the thing if you do it yourself is it non-consensual like to what extent is the other partner meant to read the room and meant to know that you're not into it and to what yeah. extent is it on you to articulate that because like not every time I've had shit sex has been like, you know, like assault or whatever, obviously. Mm. And also I think a lot of people would be appalled to know that I haven't had a good time and I've had sex with them. 100%. percent break their heart. But I think it's also uh, quite naive to think that 100%, I mean, you're super lucky if you are in that situation. And I've been lucky enough to be in relationships where it really was just me and the partner and nothing else, no one else is in the room. But like, sometimes there are, there are and so... What, what are the politics of that, right? Like, yeah. It's Do you think it's bad politics to like fantasize about I think it's unrealistic else? to have it any other way. If, yeah. If you enjoy every other aspect of your life, like. But my, my um, thing that I didn't quite understand with this question was they said on our first dates, like, do they mean several first dates or do they mean just Seems one that first way. date? Which is so sweet as in like, you went back for more. That's the thing, but I guess if you have a lot in common with someone, you just can't quite make, but then I just need to be friends. Yeah, so, okay, you can have someone who's, like, sexy and has great politics and you don't want to sleep with, like, that's why we're friends. Like, yeah. we feel that way about each other, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. Um, so, I've, again, been on this, like, dating stuff as of late as such, and I guess been uh, lucky enough where real life is just as good, maybe not personality-wise sometimes, but yeah. <laughs> at least uh, goodness-wise. and. My God, I really, I don't think, especially if it's just, it's grinder, right? It is for the hookups. Well, obvi obviously it's great if it turns out, you know, to be something else, but uh, if it really is, like, your intention is just that, I wouldn't put myself through the torture of, like, no, not torture, but, like, look, I have an idea in my head. I'm here to implement this idea. If it's, the idea is not meeting my expectations to help with this, the, the whole pool is much, much wider are there, like... But I guess the problem is not that the sex is bad, right? The problem is that the person doesn't want to have sex with the other person. They just don't find, they don't find them attractive. Well, well, then, yeah, why bother then? Like, what? But like, it's, I guess it's so awkward, right? Like, that whole, like, hey, sorry. Look, there are a lot of, like, uh, cute little things. Also, for instance, even if when I go on a date, I go, like, Rowan, I'm going to this house or, like, to, to this place. So there's security wise. But there is all of this. What is the perfect one that you have with the key? Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you get a friend to call you up saying that they're locked out and you have to come home. Yeah, I'm sorry, you just have to drop everything then, you know? So yeah, there's nothing you can do if your friend is literally waiting on your doorstep without a key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, you know, even if you're not sure if that's gonna happen, you can literally set mm -hmm. an alarm to be like one, like half an hour into your uh, meetup, you get a call, you know? And it can, if you read really into that person and the call is quick and great, then you just go back to the mm -hmm. conversation. But if it isn't and you don't have a friend that will actually just call you, you go like, literally oh yeah shit, shit shit fuck i have to go back and you know you can be nice about that stuff and you can still be in touch you know and the life gets in the way and you never meet again so you don't have to like insult and fuck me like don't insult that person by just because you, you don't pity the fuck someone like what well, i mean yes but i mean as i'm like don't be like yeah i'm not into this because you're not attractive like don't be that mm. but like there are ways of politely saying like 
thing out of this. But yeah, to come to, to what you just said, like, go definitely, like, don't put yourself in a position where you're hooking up, like, meeting someone just for a hookup, and then that is bad because, like, they didn't meet your fantasy. There, there are a situation where you could, like, fall in love with someone, and then, the, like, sex is bad. No, but, but it's not about sex, it's about attraction, and you can't fall in love with someone that's attraction. It's not well, are you saying you can, like, kind of not find someone attractive, but then eventually find someone attractive? I don't know, if you love someone enough, could you find them physically attractive for, as a result of that? I guess you could. Because, like, you are attracted to the idea of pleasing them, right? So giving them pleasure makes you happy. Right? I mean, I'm selfish enough to say, yeah. like, that's not enough, but... Yeah, that's the thing, like, basically it depends on what you like this person. Like, if only you can decide what your boundary is there, but you have no fucking responsibility to sleep with no, someone. No, 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 no. And it's so sweet for you of you to even ask. Like, sometimes I'm going like, look, people have this resource now, which is on our coagulions, and they can yeah. ask anything they want, and they can ask such, like, cute, kind questions. It's like, would that be, like, a shitty thing to maybe do that to someone? And I'm just yeah. like, oh my god, you're so, you're such a pure soul. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wouldn't even think it twice. Obviously, I wouldn't do it in a, in a way that would be shitty to the other person, but oh my god. Well, I mean, to use the example I just used five minutes ago, when I was shitty to the other person, but I feel like it was justified in doing so, I really liked the person, we had a great chat, we had a really good date, went back home, he told me that it was going to be his first time, I felt instantly not attracted to the situation and I rolled over and prepared to go to sleep. Wasn't my best act ever, but should I have slept with him even though I felt like instantly unaroused? Fuck no. No. Fuck no. I could have done with it better, I was like 20 at the time and not that like, great, but yeah, and nobody wants to feel like they're a pity fuck. Yeah, like, and also you don't want to just score points as like, oh how could I hooked up with one more person or whatever, like what's in it for you? Yeah. Nothing. If you really like everything about this person, apart from the idea of their like bits in your mouth, then be mates. Mm. But again, so kind of you. But um but I get but also I wonder what it is, like how I am curious, how did this person manage to do this thing where they're attractive in pictures and then not in real life. I mean, I guess they could have like photoshopped the living fuck out well, of they it. Also but they surely that will happen to them again, sort of. Thing. No, but they said they were good looking in real life. It's just they didn't feel like sexual desire towards them. They said like they were good looking, but I just weren't into it. How tragic, right? I guess. Has there ever someone really good looking that I'm not into? Okay, but what if friends? I wonder if there is a scenario where like. Yeah, you kind of fancy someone from their pictures or whatever, you meet up and actually they're a bit dweeby, they're not that assertive, you know, they're kind of like yeah, not that, that great. Language you're not into. However, and then maybe if you get down to like the business and they, they like unleash this fucking mm. lion or something, you know, oh, that yeah. is a possibility. Like, or we'll the other way around where they're like, oh, fucking macho and great, like yeah. well, during the dates and then you get to bed. They're like, <sighs> well, I'm also thinking of a encounter one of us had a while ago when this person was really great, really good politics, really great chat, really funny, really cute, and then when it came down to the dating part they were instantly not attractive. I wonder really? Uh, I, I, Is I, there I, any way? Not really. Um, but like everything was killer up until the like romance part and that was a uh, killer in the like <laughs> sexual <laughs> sense. Oh, I'm so curious oh, now. I don't know how to, like... Okay, okay. Yeah, I can't, I can't be wrong. see, this is why... Because usually we would have these chats anyways, and it's yeah. really frustrating for once we have to actually, it, like, yeah. police our, our language and that. Yeah. Not police. So but. there is also that tragedy, which is... Yeah, people can be really sexy and charismatic in one situation, and the second you put them in another situation, not sexy and not charismatic. But again, it goes the other way. Like, goes the other way. Like, I know, I've been in dates where I've been, like, my best, my, like... It was sexiest and the sex was great and I thought I was like on top of the world, you know, and I leave that flat, I'm like fucking delivered it, you know, great, you know, it was just like the best. And you just be on top of the world and you're like surely they're gonna want to repeat. And they don't. It's happened don't. only twice, thank fuck. But um and they don't. It's just like what 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 what? But that's what the thing. <laughs> So again, so as yeah. in like, we are coming, I'm sorry, so but like, as in like, we're this like point of authority or whatever, and we're just like saying how shitty it is, like, for the other person and or like how sad or whatever, but we have been in that situation and yeah. we got to that point and I uh, know, I thought I, I thought I was on my top game and turns out, I mean, maybe it was just point scoring for them, but. Well, this is like my old adage from like one of our 
God, it was one of our ones we did ages ago. Someone said, what's the biggest lesson you've learned? And I said, you can't make someone fall in love with you. You can be your top self, you can be sexy and you can be charming and you can be funny and you can be hot and you can be all the good things. You can be even great in bed and if someone's not into it, they're not into it. And yeah. that happened to me and I dealt and I still feel like they were wrong and I was right. I'm <laughs> much better than my current partner, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> But like trying to get over that. If I don't, for some reason we're now talking to the person that you're rejecting. No, but, but it's, you know they will. They will be able to handle it. Yes, I guess. Well, in the way we want to reassure you that whatever, if you feel like you're doing something wrong here, that that's not the case, and they will get over it. Obviously, don't be a dick. But really, realistically, going yeah. back to your point, don't pity fuck anyone. Like that's just that's wrong and dark and and. I, mean, I don't think that we feel like that. It's been done to us, but. Oh, if you're a good pity fucker, hopefully you wouldn't let me know. Yeah. Maybe we have been pity fucked and we just never knew. I guess I always think like if they make me come then it's not a pity fuck, which is so sad because it's like it's so sad because like the base is so low. Mm. But that oh man. Yeah. But then again Like if you really this goes back to what I just said like a minute ago and I was repeat myself because I'm thinking about it again. But like if you really like someone seeing them super happy and joyful to have sex with you is also like a turn on even if them i don't know if, like their naked flesh no no ugh, no if i'm not into someone it's just bleh, yeah. Bleh, yeah it has to be about you at the end of the day like you don't owe this person anything you have to do what makes you feel comfortable if you feel happier pissy fucking them then i guess go yeah, for it sure. but if you were happy and not sleeping with them you have no duty to sleep with someone just because you had great bants like i have great bants with many people i guess in the way that it sounds that they're like thinking like they tick all these other boxes and perhaps you know because again we're a bit spoiled here we're in london there's just so much fresh meat that's <laughs> 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 but, um, <laughs> like i am you are like we are having very different london experiences shall i say <laughs> it's, 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 oh, uh, but um i imagine if you're somewhere where the pool is smaller you know and you feel like every other box is thick then yeah i just I have to try really hard to be a but surely maybe I'll get over it, like, what is this, it's fine, maybe it's a me issue, like, I, I understand why someone would be in that dilemma, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I also, like, say, like, for example, the first time I slept with a woman, a cis woman, like, I had this huge fear that I would be, like, repulsed by, like, a vagina, mm. not a labia, if they're going to be chromatic on and therefore the first time I like saw it, I was like taken aback and be like, oh fuck this thing that I've never seen in my face before, what am I <laughs> doing, oh my god. And then, you know, I like stuck my face in and it was sick. But it was sick because like she was like squirming around and like having a great time and it was like a really great event. So there is also a way of like getting an over, over an initial like repulsion, if the repulsion is like a fear or an apprehension that comes across like a repulsion but isn't actually a repulsion. Yeah. Okay, 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 now let's be really Oh god, now I'm gonna oh too much wine. Fuck it. What if what if <laughs> Alright, hear me out, hear me out guys, hear me out <laughs> Oh god. Well again, we're supposed Oh god, I cannot believe I'm gonna be saying this. Okay, again, don't put yourself through this situation, but I'm saying, what if there is a reward at the end where, like, the bits are awesome or something? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, someone could also have, like, the most, like, sassy, banter, killer body, like, and, and, like... Terrible cock. And just, like, like, bad bits. And that doesn't mean, like, you know, it's, don't, don't matter, like, whether it's, it's shape or size subjective. or whatever. It's completely subjective. But, like, bits not to your taste. Mm. <laughs> 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 and, <laughs> I'm such a child, I found that so funny. Uh, and and what happens then? So you just saw them, what you are you gonna force yourself to get into that, but you're already there? I would. Eric wants this inside me. But I mean I bet it goes the other way around, like where like perhaps you know you're not into that person that much like IRL, but then who knows, perhaps there's a surprise at the end of it all. Where it's just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you you are actually more into the like aesthetics of sex organs than I am, I've noticed. Because you like will often like compliment a another person's sex organ. Uh, and I think you have a more appreciation of the beauty. You know, Mariam's an art graduate, you have to understand. I'm a history graduate, so I'm more interested in the history of the bits. Sure, but the, no but look, but the art the arty bit is surely David, which is, you know, just David. David sculpture, right? Oh my god, is David. 
Why are you? What the fuck is Dave? Which one was Dave? Well, like, that's fairly average, though. Oh, yeah, it's, yes. But yeah, then again, also, the way that it looks flaccid is very different from the way well, that yeah, it looks Yeah, maybe it, like, like, fucking whoop, ooh, I'm like, trick to that. All right, okay, so, um... um I don't know if we've been helpful at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're saying there are many, many, many yeah. steps to arrival of a... But then what if they do amazing things with whatever they have? Oh. Okay, but should you have to break past and not desire to have sex with someone in order to have something amazing happen? I mean, that's what happened in the porn I watched, but that's not very good ethical porn. Wait, can you repeat that? Having to break past the barrier of, like, repulsion in order to have amazing things happen? I don't feel like that's good ethics. No. Even though it can happen, hedging your bets on that happening it seems an unlikely bet. Yeah, I mean, again, you're on a dating app. The pools are fucking wide and mm. huge. Just, just, just swipe. Like, not swipe, but, like, just politely... Become friends. 